Hello, Father James Kubicki here. And last week when I was on vacation, I did a lot of golfing. I first picked this sport up when I was nine years old, and my father learned the game, and I became his golfing partner. Some people think of golf as a poor way to break up a good hike, but not me. I like to say that I learned about prayer through golf. I've always had trouble hitting the ball straight, and so from the very beginning I often found myself walking alone in the opposite direction of my fellow golfers, walking and thinking and talking to myself, but really not alone and not talking just to myself, because the reality is that God is everywhere. Quoting an ancient Greek philosopher, St. Paul said, In God we live and move and have our being. So those solitary walks and talks were for me the beginning of a prayer life. I'm reminded of this because of an article that a Jesuit friend of mine once wrote called Golf as a Spiritual Exercise. It really can be. As you walk, you can lift up your mind and heart to the God who created the grass and sky, and you too, with your ability to walk and appreciate the beauty around you. And I think the greatest spiritual exercise for me when I play golf is realizing that so much of the game involves letting go, just as so much of life does. If I think too much about it, or get anxious when I face a shot over some water or a bunker, or look at that out-of-bounds fence on the right, somehow I end up doing exactly what I fear. Golf challenges me to let go of the anxiety, to not think negative thoughts, to just let go and enjoy the game, letting the club I'm swinging do the work. Now, isn't that a good spiritual lesson for life as well?